So in order for me to have a productive morning, the first thing that I do is I get up at 6.30 in the morning. Yes, 6.30 in the morning. Following me getting up, the first thing I'm going to do is open my Bible and I'm going to get a little bit of Bible study and a little bit of the word in. I just do this to try not to get on my phone the first thing and it also helps me have a better day after i got in a little bit of word i just do that for a little bit probably like a chapter or two i'm going to head over to the bathroom and this is the most important part of my morning minus my breakfast and my vitamins of course <laughs> So some of the products that I'm going to be featuring today, although this says hydrogen peroxide, this is definitely salt water. It helps get in to areas that I cannot reach, especially with my wisdom teeth growing. I have my floss. Of course, it's just from the dentist. I honestly like the pick flosses, but this is the floss that I have, so this is the floss that we're gonna use. Of course, we gotta have the toothpaste and the toothbrush. And then I have this TheraBreath mouthwash one of my favorite foaming facial cleansers the La Roche Posay I don't know how to say that but however you say it is one of the best of the best for my oily skin next I will be using my alcohol free toner from Neutrogena also one of the best and this is the main show of the party in order to rid of those blackheads you put this on i honestly prefer to put this on at night so that you wake up in the morning and you see that everything is gone but even if you put it on during the day you'll still notice the same effects of course we have to have our cotton rounds because how are we gonna put the toner on our face without the cotton rounds and then i have this tula moisturizer it's not the moisturizer that i recommend but it's the one that i've been using so i'm going to put it into the video now the one that i like to use is the la roche posay sorry if i butchered that but that one for oily skin is my favorite and then the last but not least we have our lip butter because at the end of our routine we cannot have dry lips okay you just can't do it you know unless you want to but my preference is tonight starting off with my routine i'm going to shake my salt water up to get the salt contents concentrated mixed in with the water and i'm just gonna put some of that in my mouth and then i am going to gargle for 30 whole seconds you guys just 30 seconds and just making sure that it gets everywhere that it needs to get after i gargle with my salt water i am now going to go in with my floss and with my floss i'm just going to make sure that i go in between every single one of my teeth you will look crazy during this process or at least i know i look crazy during this process but that's a part of oral hygiene you just gonna have to look a little bit crazy and it's okay you guys it is okay <laughs> and then of course after i floss i am now going to go ahead and brush my teeth i just have this colgate it's supposed to be charcoal so i just have the the colgate charcoal toothpaste and honestly i really do enjoy this toothpaste this toothbrush is an electric toothbrush so it does vibrate and i've noticed that i don't really like those but my mom gets them for me and it's a toothbrush and i'm just gonna basically do this for two minutes and of course i want to show y'all the whole two minutes because this can become a very messy and also not aesthetically pleasing process but it is a part of oral hygiene as well as my morning routine and i just do these things that i can feel my best self in the morning and i can have a very very good day and of course you know we got to brush our tongue but after i brush my teeth i am now going to go in with the therabreath mouthwash now this mouthwash at least in the green bottle i haven't tried the other ones but i'm pretty sure they all do the same thing this one does not sting it does not give you that stinging effect in your mouth i have heard bad things about the mouthwash that gives you stings but personally i like to feel the little tingle now i don't like it to burn i do have a mouthwash and it like literally burns i don't like it to burn but i do like it to tingle for a little bit and i'm just going to rinse and gargle this in my mouth for literally 60 seconds but next on to one of my favorite products is this foaming facial cleanser from i'm not gonna say because i'm pretty sure i'm butchering it but y'all know what i'm talking about like look at those bubbles 
like it's just yes so i'm just going to massage this into my face for about 45 seconds to a minute and this is also one of your most important processes in cleaning your face mind you guys i do have oily skin so these products that i'm going to be using are mostly catered towards oily skin the only thing that does not produce a lot of oils is my nose other than that everything else produces oils so i'm just going to make sure that i massage this into my face all over my entire face my forehead my cheeks my chin in between my eyes i'm going to get everything and then at the end of that i'm going to rinse it all off with water and then i'm going to pat it dry with a towel so on a clean face we are going to head over to one of the most important products of this entire process which is this blackhead face mask i don't even know i'm we're just gonna call it this black face mask because it's a charcoal face mask and when i tell you guys i see results overnight so of course i just applied this product on a clean face and then i am going to take my finger you can use your little brush or like the little facial brushes but i found that i just like my finger i feel like i have more control and i can also get into areas that the brush can't get into as well as the rinsing off process of the brush is annoying to me i know that might sound bad but it's kind of like oh my goodness i can just go rinse my finger under some water because i got to take it off my face anyways or in this case i'll be getting in the shower so it'll get rinsed off in the shower so i'm just gonna put this product over my entire face literally especially everywhere that has a blackhead but my acne and my blackhead get so bad that whenever i do anything i just put it on my entire face because something's gonna try to pop up soon so just put it on your entire face gonna leave this on my face for 10 minutes and while i am leaving it on my face for those 10 minutes i will be in the shower and i will go ahead and take me a shower now definitely be careful when you rinse the mask off because it can't get very messy and there will be black water everywhere if yeah so just try to take precaution of that now fresh out of the shower i am going to be rinsing it off of my face and then of course using the same towel as earlier i'm going to pat my face dry so we can move on to the next step now on to the next step i will be using my cotton round so that i can Put this toner on my face it is a liquid toner and i honestly hate the bottle that it comes in i'm just going to carefully place a couple drops onto the cotton round now please be careful because a little does go a long way you do not want this to be soaked on your face you don't need that especially if you have oily skin like me you don't need a lot you just need a little bit and you're just gonna then i'm just gonna take it and i'm going to run it across my entire face i'm going to make sure i get my chin a little bit of my neck and then i'm going to make sure i get behind my ears i'm just going to get everywhere that i need to get So now I'm just going to make sure that my face is completely dry by just fanning it because it doesn't take that long to dry. And then I'm going to go in with this moisturizer. Now I really don't like this moisturizer but like I said it was the one that I had and it's not that bad. But the La Roche Posay, I again I need to figure out how to say that if I'm saying it wrong, is my favorite one. You just use that one, add a little bit of water and when I tell you I get no oils throughout the day i am in love with that one why i don't have it because i just wanted to try the tula one out but best believe i'm going to get my hands on it <laughs> so again like all the other products just make sure that you i'm just going to make sure that i rub this into my face and i'm massaging into my face i'm just going to make sure that every that there is nothing no product left on my face i'm going to massage it and make sure it's all in my face now on to the last step in this whole entire process and that would be the lip moisturizer that would be my lip gloss or whatever you want to call it but just the hydration on your lips you guys
and that is it you guys that is my entire facial morning routine on how i make sure that i get rid of blackheads don't forget that your diet and your water intake and the pillows that you're sleeping on also play an important role with your face being as great as it can be thank you for watching i hope to catch you guys in the next video and without further ado peace out